Western Kenya is always at the forefront of providing this nation with comedy, especially when it comes to matters religion. We've heard of Jehovah Wanyonyi before, and now we are hearing of Jesus of Tongaren. And if you haven't seen this self-proclaimed Messiah from Western Kenya, here's his face. Now apparently some believers have chosen to believe in this guy. They're even worshipping him, uh, joining him in service. Some are even living in his own residence. There's women who have joined him there. And he has become such a big figure in Western Kenya politics that even Didmas Baraza found himself talking about this uh, self-proclaimed Jesus from Bungoma at the dais of parliament. And here are the remarks that he had to say. Madam Speaker, we are also debating about this Mackenzie and we are also forgetting that we have another fake man in Tongren calling himself Jesus and their wives have abandoned their husbands to go and make that home their, their first home that they are living with Jesus and we are not approaching this man, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the government of Kenya has tolerated this type of behavior for a very long time. Now in this video, I want us to look into why this self-proclaimed Jesus of Tongaren is a quack. But before we get into that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ufula, hit the subscribe button, you're gonna be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now the first reason why I'm saying that this guy is a quack, just as you've had Didmas Baraza saying at the dais of parliament, women are leaving their homes, some are even leaving their husbands to go join him in his home. That's fine, they have uh, the freedom to do that. But is it not written that the Christian believers are the bride of Christ and the believers consist of men and women? Why is it that women are the only people who are joining him? And when Jesus walked the earth, he was surrounded by 12 disciples who are all male. That's quite strange if you ask me. Now the second reason why I believe this uh, Jesus of Tongaren is a quack is because because after the Shakahola incident, the government was now in a mood to crack down on some of these people who are teaching false doctrines and manipulating the general public. And so basically the security forces put out a warrant that he ought to appear before them or they'll arrest him. And he came out to do a presser in defense of himself. Basically he's saying he's done nothing wrong, he's just teaching the word and that's all he's been up to. And in that same presser where he believed that uh, his supporters had congregated, turns out there was an imposter amongst them. There was one guy who was there and he was not there because he believed in his teachings but he was there to expose him. So they had lined up, he said what he had to say, then he took the back seat, someone else got in front of the mic to speak and he was actually nodding his head along. But turns out the intention of that guy was to expose this Jesus of Tongaren through and through. Just have a look at this tip. Mimi nimesikia ripoti huko na itiri. Karipu na soko. Kuna mu, mufazi wako mmocha huko. Mama. Ati ali, 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 akicha hapa haruti nyumbani. Tena nimesikia. Kuna mufazi wako mmocha. Mama. Ambaya alipotesa mze wake. Haka muwacha pala pala amerala. Ata amekua shetani. Haka kucha akaishi kwako mpaka vile walisika andi akaruti. Tapia kama hiyo katika sheria ya inchi ya Kenya, uchue haiko. Hakuna, hiyo ni uko uongo. Ni uongo. So najua hata zaza kutumekua watu wengi uwezi ingia kwa mambo mengi. Ni uongo wana niwekea. Si nduku weo unakujanga hapo unaona kila kitu. So again, that tracks back to what Didmas Baraza was saying, that women in specific are leaving their homes to go join this guy in worship. Not just any other women, but some of them are married women leaving their homes <laughs> to go and join this uh, Jesus of Tongaren in service and things like that. And the third reason why I believe this guy is a quack is because during Easter, he was challenged by some local residents that if he's truly Jesus, they'll take him and put him on the cross so that he can pay for our sins once more. And here's what he had to say in response to that. Atakapotokea mara ya pili si kwa ajili ya kupambana na dhambi pali ni kwa ajili ya kuwaokoa wale wanao mungojea. Yo ndio jibu la hilo swali. Watu wa pungoma jinsi wanavyosema hivyo tayari ni sile roza mababu ambazo zimo ndani. Ukisoma matendo ya mitume sapa msini hati ya msina tatu. 
jinsi walivyo watenda wale manabii wa kale ndivyo zile roho zimeinuka makaburini zimewaingia hawataki ukweli Yesu anene ukweli wanataka kufinya kile kilicho ndani lakini kasi ni ya Mungu. Now this guy clearly isn't a fool. He came out with a very witty answer by saying that Jesus Christ cannot die for people's sins twice. He did it once. The next time he's coming back is not to die for people's sins but to save people. And to that end we ask the question, who has he saved? What miracles has he done? All he has done is take people's wives and other women from their home to come and join him in service in his own home where he's a self-proclaimed Messiah. Now the fourth reason why I say this guy is a quack based on the scripture that he also believes in is because of this uh, verse, Thessalonians 4, 16-17, which says, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first, then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Now if this guy is really Jesus, meaning this is his second coming, based on the scripture, the first time Jesus came, he was born of a virgin by a woman here on earth. If this is his second coming and this guy has a mother, how can he be born of a woman twice? The scripture says that he's supposed to come with a triumphant entry with archangels and whatnot and, and, and uh, glory. If you look at this guy, there is no glory around him, sorry to say. And basically he breaks all the rules that have been put in the Bible about the second coming. So I believe he's a professional con man. He has found gullible women. And Western Kenya seriously has this problem. It seems people there can believe in anything. Someone can wake up and say they are Moses from the Bible, they've come back and they will have followers. In a very short time, they'll have at least eight to nine people following them. So it's a good thing that the government is cracking down on these people. No longer will such jokes be allowed in the country. If you are truly Jesus, do miracles, prove that you are Jesus. But you cannot just come and get women from around and get women from other people's homes, bring them into your own home, and then proceed to indoctrinate them with lies that you are truly Jesus. Jesus is actually a very respected person. In the Quran, he's a prophet of Allah. In the Bible, he's the son of God. No matter which way you look at it, he's respected by both religions. If you go to the Hebrews, they believe that the Jesus that came or that existed uh, in history is a quark. That is their belief. But they still believe that there is an actual Messiah who is yet to come. But all of them believe that Jesus exists. Different purpose. There are some who argue about uh, his role. Some say he's the prophet, son of God. Others say that he came. Others say that he's yet to come. But either way, there is respect amongst those three religions for Jesus Christ. So it cannot be taken and lightly when someone like this just comes out to say that he is Jesus of Tongaren. Since when? These things start harmlessly like that. They test the waters, you convince some people you are Jesus, then you take them to a 40-day fast like Shakahola, and then we hear a story like that in Bongoma. In fact, they need to check his backyard. If he has been giving crazy teachings which leads to some people dying, that needs to be discovered. And so it's a good thing he has been summoned by the police. Let him go record what he knows, and then if he's honestly just uh, a harmless con man, let it be known. But as usual, guys, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this uh jesus of tongaren i'll do my best to read your comment and to give you a response now in the event you're here for the first time please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david or fuller hit the subscribe button you're gonna be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to all right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.